Gear of reporting. Hello comrades. I apologize for the long absence. Even though I promised that the videos will be released more often. I hope my disappearance didn't kill the channel. But, it's good to be back in Path of Exile, and the new league looks promising. After such a strong drop of players, GGG decided to fulfill all the player requests for the last two years. Less push to end game, remove Uber trials, delve buff, harvest buff, uber blight maps, treery work, flasks buff, a new mana reservation system, awakened gems buff, veiled mods are now much easier to obtain, and so much more. But the most important change, they finally buff spectral throw, GGG have found the main problem why this skill isn't used for 3 years. I personally geek excited. But okay, today's video isn't about that. Today, we are going to talk about starter builds. All builds were tested by me personally, with Tabula Raza and other cheap stuff. Also, obviously everything was tested in 3.15, without the new tree and stuff. So, let's begin. I want to start with Eye of Winter. One of the nicest skills in the game, high O freeze, decent damage, and potentially high single target damage along with Hydrosphere. To make the Hydrosphere combo work, we need to have plus one chain, which we can get from the cheap ring, Snake Pit. So, it's kinda mandatory. We also combine Hydrosphere with Hex Touch, Elemental Weakness, and Frostbite, since we can have additional curse from our Ascendancy. You can also use Unleash Support instead of Spell Echo, but I personally don't like this play tile. The Gull, Mute Wind Whisper Steps, Kalissa's Grace, are cheap good uniques for this build. The build also has strong potential in end game content, but that's a topic for another video. Next build, Poison Scourge Arrow. A very powerful and omega cheap build. Since the flasks got serious buffs in this league, Pathfinder looks very good. In a nutshell, we convert 100% of our physical damage to chaos damage plus poison. In the video we use as Lionize Glare, a great bow with a huge amount of base damage. Dark Scorn is much better for this build though, but there is a chance that this bow can be very expensive in this league. Stark Konya, Drill Neck, very strong cheap starter items. Overall again, a great super cheap build, that can clean the whole screen in one button. Poet's Pen, Volatile Dead Necromancer. Super powerful build, but not very suitable for league starting. No, the build itself is cheap, the only problem is that Spellslinger now costs mana, and not to have a problem with mana we need Replica Conqueror's efficiency, and minus mana cost craft, which at the start of the league are quite difficult to find. Two Poets Pens, Ngamahu Tiki, The Gull, Corpse Walker. Great cheap starter unique items for this build. But keep that in mind, this is just a starter version of the build, with the Awakened Spell Cascade, and end game items, the build is completely different. Spark Inquisitor. It's a simple, old build that was forgotten because of Aura Stacker. Spark got a nice buff in the last league, so the nerfs barely touched him. We're gonna use Inquisitor, which got a pretty good buff in this league. Singularity, Saffle's Frame, Crown of Inward Eye, or Gull are good and cheap items for this build. Also, we need a source of piercing, it can be a piercing gem, Poacher's Aim Jewel, or Void Walker Boots. So now if you want to use Spark, this is gonna be the best option. And the last build, Dead Eye Fire Elemental Hit. One of the strongest build in the game. But there is one problem, Avatar of Fire, Keystone, which is mandatory in this build. We can just buy Zoff's Blood, but at the beginning of the league, it will be giga expensive, so we will have to spend a lot of points just to get Avatar of Fire from the tree. Our main unique bow will be Quill Rain, or Death's Opus. Pyron 2 Combat Focus, is also mandatory items in this build. Super strong build, which with a good budget, is one of the strongest in the game. Highly recommend. So that's it, thanks for watching, see you in 3.16.